a lot of confidence in your group going down to LA, and clearly there was merit in that. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how, just how have they been all year? Have you had to build them up at all? Um, and maybe even use false confidence, for lack of a better term, or have they been, have they felt good about themselves the whole way? I think like you could see for us coming into the season, we came in and just boom, 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 boom. And then from there, you could see them maybe put a little bit of, um, put a little bit of weight on their shoulders, like themselves. Mm -hmm. And then you could see them take it off and start to play a little freer. And then I think once we got into pack, they started figuring out how to completely put it together. And then I felt UCLA, they just flat out put it together. Yeah, they, they're talking about how they feel like they're playing their best softball right now. What's it like as a coach to hear that from your team and to see that from your team? Because mm -hmm. obviously this is one you want to be playing the best when you're coming into your stretch run. Definitely. I couldn't agree more with them. I think they are playing their best softball. Um, I think you look into a season and times you can see a team come right out of the gates and they're playing great and then they just end up peaking a little too soon. For us, I, don't, I think we're peaking right at the right time and I think they're realizing that as well. How much? And the cliche missing with freshmen is they don't know what they don't know. How much at times has that both helped and hurt you? Because like when you guys beat LSU even very early in the season, but then even in this past weekend beating UCLA, for a lot of reasons, you could expect a lot of exuberance, but you guys on the field look very, you know, even keel with it. Mm -hmm. When for a lot of reasons, you probably should have been showing a lot of exuberance given how things have been the last few weeks. Why has this team kind of been kind of an even temperament? For a lot of I, you know, I think that's one thing we've just preached since from day one is, you know, I expect these guys to understand how to have composure, how to be poised. Um, I think maybe early on the season as freshmen, sometimes you don't know what you know. But then I think with, them being thrown into the fire and all the innings that they've had to play, they know what's going on. <laughs> and they've handled it very well. How battle tested do you guys feel at this point? I mean, I think you just gone against the number one team in the country, so they're off the schedule now. I mean, yeah. you're still going against quality conference opponents, but you know, UCLA is in there every year, et cetera. Just how, uh, how battle tested do you feel your group is right now to make a, to make a push and I, try to get to the postseason? I think extremely. You know, we have, I think right now we're the number two strength schedule. Um, we've faced everybody. I think going into UCLA, one thing that I kept preaching to them is that we are prepared. We've faced every top pitcher out there. We've faced every top hitter out there. Um, so I think our strength of schedule really did a great job of preparing us for the Pac-12 and then obviously going to UCLA. Beyond playing your best softball right now, is there also a a pep in the stove because you actually get an extended homestand for the first time all season right now? We are excited to be home. I told them on the way home the other night to put their suitcases away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just put them away. So we know um, that the Jane, playing at the Jane is the best. There's nothing better than to play here at the Jane. Our fans, there's nothing better than the fans that we have. We have the best fans in the country and to be able to have both for these next couple weekends is going to be huge for us. How much of the big picture is still part of the focus? I mean, before the season, missing was you know, postseason still the standard. How much, while on one hand it's one game at a time, I understand that, but keeping mindful of the big picture that, yes, you guys could go on a run here and, and put yourselves in position to reach the postseason. How much is that still the carrot at the end of this to say that's, that's what we're looking for? Absolutely. That's, that's, I mean, like I said, I've said um, in previous conversations that my um, expectation has not changed. Um, I think these guys, we're, we are taking it one game at a time, and I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. There's no reason to. Um, so we want to take it one game at a time, but we are absolutely postseason. Yes, that's where we want to be. Kind of felt like Jasmine's catch personified, just never say die, never quit, mm -hmm. you know, 100 miles an hour. Um, did you see that from this group right from the start? Or, or I it, would it, see it. any of it been kind of almost a pleasant surprise at all? Just yeah. that they're still pushing as hard as, as they are despite everything? Mm -hmm. they, they, they have so much fight in them. But if, during the season, there's times where they would have a lot of fight, then you could see them. It would kind of wear on them a little bit. And they have a lot of fight and wear on them. And what I like is if you look at UCLA through those three, the during the series, we got one win. But throughout the entire series, not one time did this team quit. And I think that's what allowed us to stay in all three games. We were in all three games. Um, and we were lucky, you know, excited to pull one out. But I think um, the adversity, I think their fight, I think them knowing how to dig deep when things aren't going our way is going to be huge for us going down the stretch.
Hunter UCLA Bogdick. was able to get a couple of eight run games in those last two against or yeah, they were able to get a couple eight run games against you guys. Mm -hmm. What does your defense need to do to get back on track against Cal this weekend? Yeah, I think with that, it's just go back to the, the fundamentals, you know, get a couple practices in and clean up some things that we need to clean up. I think we've got a tremendous defense. Um, and it just we just had a couple little kinks in it this weekend that we'll we'll get that cleaned up and then just continue with what we've been doing. They've been great all year for us. Thinking about digging deep, I mean with Lauren how do you balance the fact? I mean, she had a great first game, and then she did, you, did she run out of steam? Because it was low scoring to right to last, where they put up some runs. I mean, is she running out of steam, or is there things she can correct? Because you know, you're right in the game until you know they just blow it out one or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's just us continuing to be clean with what we do, whether it's on the mound, whether it's on defense, um, being timely with our hitting. Uh, I thought in each game we were in it all the way and they just like you said UCLA had a, um, an inning where they were able to, to push through and put some runs on the board so if we can minimize that uh, we talk a lot about if you know if an opponent has a big inning you know how quickly can we stop the bleeding um, so for us just to continue to do things like that but this, this team I look at where we were in the beginning of the year I look at us in the middle and I look at where we are now and we are playing our best ball I think these guys have tons of experience and they're taking that experience and using it now towards their advantage so Ali talked about offensive adjustments and you know, changing where her hands were and whatnot in order to go on this tear that she's been on the past couple of weeks uh, what is it like to see one of your many freshmen be able to have that be able to make an adjustment and see immediate mm -hmm. returns and go on this kind of hot streak where you really need that yeah offense? I've been impressed with her she, her game plans she's very specific she knows exactly what she wants to do at the plate her plan solid. I think um, offensively our plans have been solid. It's just continuing to be timely and to pass the bat. But to see the freshmen uh, grow at the plate, you know, because the, the types of pitching that we've, uh, pitchers that we've faced all year, they're tough. They're all American postseason type pitchers. So um, to have successes and, and to walk away on positive note um, against these big time pitchers, I think it's just, it's going a long way for us and it's allowing these freshmen to see, hey, I can, I, can, I can hit against the best. How unique is it to start for freshmen, you know, at the number one team in the country in general, and what do you think that'll do for you a couple of years from now, that experience yeah. that they got? Yeah, I, I think the experience that this young group is getting is humongous, um, and is not only helping us right now, but um, future-wise, so anytime you can say, oh yes, we have a young, experienced team, mm -hmm. that, that says a lot. That really allows you to do some good things. And I think we're seeing that right now towards the end of our season and we'll continue to see it throughout their careers. With how well Seavers has been playing, especially against an opponent like UCLA, where would you compare to the, some of the other good freshmen in the Pac-12? Oh, goodness. I, I don't even, you know, I don't even know. I, I would just tell you that to see what she's done at the beginning to the middle and what she's doing now. I love how she's leading on defense. I love what she's doing at the plate. She's really decisive. She's confident. She knows what she wants and um, just I, I, I just love what she's doing and she's capable of that. I mean we knew that's what she would be doing you know at the beginning of the year so I'm not surprised um, but just I think just all of this experience that she's getting and the others are just going to go a long way for all of them. Missy, and trying to extend Jordan to three games in three days and, try, and you know, down this stretch here in particular, strategically, I understand it has to be like an ideal situation, but if you're ahead in certain spots, any thought process is to try and get Kaylee in, steal an inning against maybe the bottom of the order and the, you know, the seven, eight, nine, one kind of spots to try and, and you know, extend, take a load off of Jordan a little bit when when you can selectively. I mean, everybody would love to be up 10 nothing or something, but even if you're up two or three runs, can you try to steal an inning in order to you know, take a little bit of load off Jordan to get her through a summer? Yeah, I think with that, it just depends. It's hard to say like ahead of time what exactly we would do, but anytime we can take some load off her um, or take some innings off her, we definitely want to be able to do that. And I was extremely impressed with Haley this weekend and what she did, I mean, to, um, you know, hadn't picked up a ball since last May, and then to pitch two scoreless innings against UCLA, you think four scoreless innings against Washington. She gave us opportunity to beat Oklahoma State. Like, she's putting us in positions to win ball games, and that's really what we want from our pitching staff. I, 
If you want to strike people out, great. All we need is outs and for you to put us in a position to win a ball game. That's what we need for our staff. And I think they're doing a great job of that right now. We're about two months into the season, your first head coaching job. I'm curious, do you have the like, inner circle of your know, former colleagues, friends in the softball world that you go to? I know they're busy with their own seasons, but mm -hmm. just something for advice, feedback, stuff like that. Yeah, I think we all as coaches, you know, have our mentors that we we talk with and, you know, maybe we'll bounce ideas off them. Um, so, and I appreciate that. Um, they've all been great, very supportive.